Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the printer settings on your macOS device. This process will allow you to add, remove or configure printers on your Mac. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so to access the printer menu on your Mac, what you need to do is go to System Settings here. It'll be slightly different on older versions of Mac OS, but this is Ventura here. And then scroll down right to the very bottom of your sidebar in System Settings, and you'll find the area that says Printers and Scanners. So what you need to do is click on that. And what you'll see here is a list of printers or fax machines that you have set up as well as um, some basic settings here for the default printer and default paper size. So I'll run you through this step by step. So at the top here with the default printer, you can set this to how it works. So whether it's the last printer used, which is what's on by default, or you can set it to a specific printer. Now I've only got one printer set up on this computer, so it's only gonna show you one option, but I can set that to be the default printer if I would like to. Also under default paper size, I can change that. By default, it's A4, but I could change it to anything from A5 to US letter to A3, all those sorts of sizes. Now, then we've got the printers and faxes section. So we'll look at the printers first. So this shows you under the printer section, all the different printers that you have set up on this device. Now, as I said earlier, I've only got one here, but on here, you can then click into it so click anywhere on there and you get a whole heap of extra options. So you've got the name listed up the top where you can also change it here. So you can change the name. Um, so I could add on the end here, printer. That was supposed to be at the end, but that's all right. Uh, I can do that if I would like to. I can also add a location. So I could say it's at the office. Um, that's also an option there. I can, from this... Um, section here I can open the scanner um, which will open uh, the scanner area here so it waits for the scanner and then you can choose where to save it to and what size it is as you can see there are lots of different options there uh, and then you can decide whether it uses the document feeder or not um, so turn that on or off then you can show details and it will give you a whole heap of extra options here so does a little test scan. There's nothing in the scanner right now. Does a little test scan and you can change all these specific settings here. So that works really well if you want to scan. Uh, you can also see the printer queue. So clicking that will show you the printer queue. Nothing's printing at the moment. You can see it says ink is low. Um, so that might need to be replaced. Then underneath location, you've got a button for options and supplies. So if you click on that, once again, you can change the name and location gives you a specific device name and the driver version. Uh, you can show the printer web page if you have that set up. You can also look to find the printer. And up the top here, you're either in general, which is what shows up first, or you can check the supply levels, and you can see the supply levels of each of the different ink cartridges. So you can see here it's got an exclamation mark for these two colors here, so I may need to replace them at some point soon, and then you can see more info as well. And you can see here is the estimated ink levels in the um, in the online database. And I can see the signal strength and link quality as well. So that's really helpful. Now we can go out of that. And then we can say whether we want to share the printer on the network. So if we turn that on, um, you'll see that we can open sharing settings and make some adjustments here. So... Um, on here, you can turn it on to share it. You can choose what they can do with it and who has access here. So that's really helpful. Um, if you would like to do that, you can toggle that on or off in sharing settings. So um, you can decide whether you want that to work. Um, if we go back into printers and scanners here and give this a moment to load. Once we're back in printers and scanners, we can just click back on our printer 
we can see that the type it's um, using air print so it's doing this wirelessly it's not using a cable and you can see once again it's driver version 3.0 we can remove the printer or just set it as default if we wanted to as well and then underneath we've just got the fax version of that printer same sort of thing here you can see the fax queue uh, if you click on that so it opens it up there in the fax queue you got your different options there um, so you can do that and actually when you're in there if we open it back up you can go between printing fax and then the scanner as well so that's really helpful sometimes it can get a little bit slow like now sometimes communicating with the printer isn't exactly the fastest so you might have to be a bit patient but um you'll see that that all sort of works okay you can decide whether to share the facts on the network and it sort of gives you the same options here and then whether you want to remove the facts as well and then finally you can add printer scanner or fax machine down the bottom and this just gives you some options here you can um, add a name, location, auto select. It's going to find anything that's on the network and then you can just add it in uh, automatically or you can do this a little bit more manually as well if you would like to. So that's always a good option there. So yeah, that's pretty much it to adjusting the printer settings on your macOS device. Hopefully this was helpful and gave you some good insight about maybe how to add or remove a printer or just customize the one that's already added on your device. So Hopefully, this was helpful in helping you to do that. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.